Morning everyone, it is 5.30 on a Thursday morning and there's another Bid X1 auction on today. It's actually gonna focus mainly on residential and I've got a lot of requests to have a look at this. And by the way, I'm not crazy getting up at five o'clock in the morning to actually start looking at this auction. It does start at eight o'clock, but I'm actually going for a swim and I thought I'd get in a quick video before I go for that swim. So let's quickly have a look at this. So let's go find the properties. Today they actually have about 200 properties in the auction so i'm unlikely to be able to get a look at a huge amount of them there's a mix of residential and commercial but generally speaking most of them are actually focusing on the commercial side they range all over the country so there's a huge range in prices and there's a huge range of different actually options for people to look at today all over the country and um, but what we'll probably do is i won't have a chance to review 200 odd properties but what I might do when I come back from the swim is to have a look at maybe maybe 10 maximum uh, in detail and see how they go during the day, but then kind of keep an overall view on the overall auction. So let's have a quick look at a few of these first before I go. Maybe you might have a look at two or three. So I actually think this first one, actually num lot number one down in uh, Sandy Cove, I will actually be quite close there in probably about a half an hour so this is down near sandy cove in dunleer near dunleary it's actually very close to teddy's ice cream details on this so this is uh end terrace muse that actually requires a lot of refurbishment and um, is close to seafront which is what i was mentioning there i'd say that's going to be an interesting one but the level like someone buying at that at the moment is going to probably need a lot of cash an apartment here in wexford 30 grand guy price 30 grand you buy an apartment down in wexford for an opening bid of 30 grand that'd be interesting to see how that one goes what is it it's a, a fourth and fifth floor three bed apartment interesting um okay so it's three bed apartment but it actually is only um 700 over 700 square feet so that's not that big it has vacant possession so it'll be interesting to see how that one goes it looks like it needs a little bit of work then we have the beacon another beacon well uh, obviously there's issues here with fire and there's issues here with leaking sometimes these go for around 330 340 350 and sometimes they can um there can be an extra charge there to pay service charge that's outstanding so It'd be, I'll be interested to see how that one actually goes today given the current market to the test to see where we are in the current market okay so this one I think is going to be an interesting one so this is down in Ballsbridge Dublin 4 obviously a very an area that actually attracts a lot of attention it seems quite low in terms of 350 for that asking price so what are we what's going on here so too bad it's small in fairness it's only six or just over 600 square feet okay there is a tenancy in place at 21,000 so that's probably low for that area and so it's probably under rented hence why their open bid is that but depending on if you're buying it as an investor you're you're stuck with the tenant and you'll have to make sure you're buying it, buying a property with a decent tenant if you are looking to buy for yourself you will eventually be able to get the property back so it will depend what your actual end goal is for the property in terms of what kind of level of interest this would get but generally speaking this area in dublin is very well sought after it looks like a very big house down in sligo guiding price 65 be interesting to see how that one goes and um, this one looks like a reasonably low priced Property out in Duncondra at under 200,000 for asking. So it's quite big actually at just over 1,300 square feet. Okay, so it is subject to a life tenancy. Okay, that's going to get a lot of questions and people are going to ask what the hell a life tenancy is. So a life tenancy basically means there's actually someone living in the property and they have a right to live there till they pass. Generally speaking, this can do with uh, leases that were actually granted back before, I think it's 1980, where people might have been living in the property and they have a right to remain there until they pass. Or also, sometimes properties are gifted to people within wills, but they're not actually, the estate doesn't give them the full 
property what it actually does is it gifts the property to them until they pass as well. so i actually better start getting ready for a swim and i look at this in more detail when i come back Okay, back from the swim, it's eight o'clock. This is about to kick off. We're at the post. If I was a good horse commentator, I'd be able to go, well, and we're off. But realistically, I'm not gonna be able to pull that off, so I'm not even gonna be attempting it. But in terms of looking at this, considering that there's actually so many properties, it'd be too hard to really track them in any kind of great detail uh, over a kind of a short video. I kind of am thinking that I'm gonna look at about four or five lots in detail and then kind of skim over a handful of other ones and i think the ones i look at in detail is lot number one in sandy cove lot number four an apartment in wexford lot number six apartment in beacon lot number 12 uh, a two bed in wellington lane in balls bridge and i'll also look at lot number 14 in dumcondra that's the one with the live tenancy so we'll actually pop in and pop out of other ones as we're going as well. I can see that there's quite a lot of cheap enough cottages around Ireland as well. So it'll be interesting to see how they perform as well as there's quite a lot of um, boarded up properties in parts of Dublin as well. That probably will attract some investors that are looking to rent apartments or houses to the council on HAP schemes or long term tenancy agreements. So it'll be interesting to see what the level of demand is for those. So we'll keep a, an eye on how they're performing as well. Okay, so I think we're just after eight o'clock. The auction should have started. So we'll go in and check on a few of these and see how, obviously there won't be any bids in yet. Oh, okay, so straight away, someone's in for a bid on the Sandy Cove property. Already, is that there's three bids in and there is a total of three bidders at it. So that is going to be an interesting one to see how that performs. That is quite a quick bid and quite a quick response on that one. The bidding closes at half nine actually, so they have an hour and a half from now. This is an interesting property. Again, BidX1 have done pretty well in terms of actually getting photos. It looks like they have um, the 3D Explorer here as well. So that will be interesting and a video too. Already 10 grand above their initial asking. Okay, so let's um, check in on Wexford, this uh, three bed apartment in Wexford. Oh, and we're already off as well. There's been a number of bids in on, on it very quickly. Again, this one closes just after half nine but we're already 10 grand above what they were looking for. It needs a little bit of work, but I kind of felt that obviously they had put that one very low and it should attract some interest. So we'll go and have a look at number six, the beacon. This probably, I'd be surprised if this has got as quick as an interest in it. Um, still inviting bids in on the beacon. One. Quickly go down to number 12. Oh yeah. Interest in this one as well in Balls Bridge. Already two bids in, one at the asking and one up just slightly two grand more. So that is one that I think should probably attract a decent amount of interest. And while we're at it, just before I kind of maybe finish off here quickly, I think there's one interesting one down here. It looks like a fairly big house down in Sligo. Yeah, needs a lot of work. Um, already two bids in on it. Be interesting to see how that one goes. Obviously, probably local demand down there. It's a very big house, uh, just over three and a half thousand square feet, vacant possession. It needs a bit of work, as you can see. Not a lot of photos. This is probably I can actually see from flicking around these properties. The ones in Dublin. Um, have quite a lot of photos and a lot of work has been done but obviously due to lockdown um, and travel restrictions the ones down the country it's probably harder for them to get actually some decent photos of them but it, it's again a lot of work has gone into pulling this all together so quickly considering we are in still kind of in a lockdown kind of phase 
we might we might just check once more on one or two of these and then i'll give it a break for a half an hour and see where we're going a lot of interest in this one in um sandy cove considerable amount of bids going in at it and there's still an hour, pretty much an hour and a half left and again wexford is continuing to creep up there 48,000 and it will be interesting to see where some of these are going some of the ones that I've picked out already have already started to gather a lot of interest as I they attracted me initially one uh, Wexford because it was such a low reserve and obviously Sandy Cove because of the location it's a great location beside the beach so that was going to attract interest as well right it's just about half nine or it's just half nine right now i'm going to check in on this again and see where we are i have a funny feeling that sandy cove there might be one or two late bids being put on sandy cove so it may not have closed out yet but let's go and have a look Ooh, big massive jump since we last looked i think we were up around 310 or 320 when we last jumped and this is still going there's 50 seconds left obviously there's one two there are three or four different bidders on this one. Good bit of interest. This one could go on for a while. We have our Wexford property current bid at 54. I can imagine that's getting close to finishing up. Yeah, so three minutes left. Current bid at 60. So it still represents reasonably okay value down there for a tree bed on top floor. And it is double what they set as the reserve which is fair enough it attracted me in terms of the the reserve was quite low what else do we have so we still don't have any bids in on the beacon which doesn't surprise me at 290 generally speaking they can kind of trade in around the kind of 330 mark or 335 or maybe slightly higher if they're nicer properties and um, this seems to be fairly standard one it doesn't have the balcony it looks like it has the cube in it so yeah so that's a fairly standard one so i can imagine given the current market conditions we're in that is probably maybe a little bit high to start with and we have our property down here in sligo which we quickly looked at before current bid 73 it's still a very big property like you wouldn't be able to build it for that and um, and then we have our wellington lane as well so we'll just check in i think this could be potentially a good buy for someone so we're currently up to 366 probably yeah so there's no bids on our property that has our life tenancy in in Dumcondra yet and there are a few commercial ones or properties that were actually in the original auction that I reviewed last week if you haven't seen that video I went in and actually explained about bid x1 a little bit they actually have a great kind of tool here on how their auctions work their videos and stuff and they have a very good and um, frequently asked questions page as well on their website so if you are thinking about buying online or buying at an auction even if it's not an online auction their website actually answers quite a lot of questions 417 now uh, obviously this 418 this uh, 419 422 now obviously it's just it's the location that has really appealed to someone and it's a nice project for someone to be involved in obviously 25 seconds 20 seconds left nearly now any further bids close now 10 seconds any more bids any more bids so this is actually one of the differences between an online auction and a normal auction you don't have the auctioneer banging the hammer or you don't have them calling going once going twice and sold here you just have a timer ticking down and right now we're again we're at 20 seconds will it get down any further 15 seconds 10 seconds i'm feeling someone's going to put in another bid here just treat them out five seconds another bid in another two bids in Another 50, so this could go on for a while. Nothing in yet on the Beacon property. That's probably gonna not get a bid available. So that has um, timed out. There's another property in on the Beacon. It's a one bed, so it'll be interesting to see how that one is actually done as well. Oh, we have a bid in on Dumcondra. 
200,000. This is the one with the life tenancy. Be interesting to see how this one goes. It's a fine looking property in Duncondra. Um, a very big as well. So for that price, it represents very good value, but the life tenancy has to be factored in. Okay, so here's another property here in the Beacon. It's a one bed. Again, no offers in on it yet. Some of these bit, uh, the actual asking price of uh, 230 seems kind of high for a one bed right now, given the current circumstances we are in at the moment. Um, they have sold for more than that. They've sold for considerably more than that. Um, the ones that actually are very attractive in the beacon that are one beds are the ones with the double high ceiling. If they, you can get a one bed with a double high ceiling, it's, it's quite nice. But this one isn't. It's a standard one there. And that is probably the standard price that you might achieve. So pro realistically, probably to attract kind of a, a bid on this one, there may still be a bid on it, but to get any kind of real interest, I kind of feel that it's probably maybe 20 grand, probably too high. Continue to go and continue to be bidded on number uh, on lot number one in Sandy Cove. Current bid is 4.54 and there's 40 seconds left. Looks like there's two of them going after it at the moment. It's a two horse race at the moment. In fairness, when you are looking at this picture, like it's a beautiful location and you can understand why someone might fall in love with it. Right, so it's just one o'clock now and we need to check on some of these properties, see how they sold. I think most of them probably have actually completed at this point. Would it be good to check up to see actually interesting to see how many actually sold so let's go in so the first one of interest that we kind of highlighted was the sandy cove muse actually ended up selling for 468 i think that was on originally at 260 if i can remember right so that's a great uh results for bid x1 the other one that we thought was an interesting one was lot number four which was down in New Ross in Wexford, three bed apartment. It was on at a reserve of 30,000, ended up selling for 74,000. So again, another fantastic result. Again, kind of did have concerns about the beacon, didn't sell. Um, and as we go down, okay, the next one that we were kind of interested in is, oh, geez, actually, let's look at this Sligo one. So Sligo, this Sligo one, I think it was up at about 60 or maybe 65 at the start, ended up selling for, a hundred and twenty seven thousand to be fair that's not the worst it was a huge house i think maybe it was three and a half thousand square feet you definitely wouldn't be able to build it for that and the next one we were interested in was uh, this property here in ballsbridge let's go in and click into it i know there wasn't a great amount of actual um a great amount of photos with it but it started out let's see where it started i think it started out at 355 or something like that 350 350 so went all the way up to f nearly 500,000 that is a very good result for someone there and in fairness you're in the heart of balls bridge two bed apartment and um, you wouldn't be hopefully you wouldn't be buying that from an investment point of view on a rent of um, 22,000 per annum I am assuming that whoever bought that is hoping to live there someday this one was a strange one actually I actually never knew this was a retail unit and I'd say loads of people who've passed by it down in uh, Limerick have driven by this loads of times and never actually knew or realized that there was a retail unit there I actually just assumed it was actually just part of the cladding but obviously there's some sort of basement retail unit or there's a retail unit here asking price I think was two or 120 or something like that it's a reasonably big uh, retail unit and um, I'm imagining it's going to be in shell and core condition but I drive and buy that loads of times in Limerick I never ever knew that that was a retail unit okay so this one's an interesting one actually the fact that it didn't sell this was a tree bed in Temple Bar would have probably been ideal for Airbnb when Airbnb was allowed um, and it's probably what it might have been used for and a tree bed maybe it wasn't used for airbnb but hard time of bar 
um, vacant possession that probably a year or two ago that probably would have been snapped up um, given the fact it was a tree bed in the heart of Temple Bar for that price but obviously people are worried and it didn't quite attract much interest today so five o'clock and we're all done and dusted I think that is 240 lots that were put up for auction today mainly focusing on residential and there was a handful of commercial in there as well but fair play to BidX1 uh, there's obviously a lot that goes into actually coordinating one of these auctions and um, I'd imagine it takes quite a lot of time to gather up all the information as well and I actually have heard that they are going to be doing joint ventures or well not joint ventures but joint agencies with other agents as well around the country so that will be interesting to see how that works obviously they're bringing their technology and local agents will be bringing their local knowledge so it would be a good blend between two agents so that would be an interesting to see how that all works out but looking at this we had 240 properties up for sale quickly scanned through this a minute ago it looks like there was only about 50 odd that didn't sell so pretty much we're talking about nearly 76 78 percent of a sales rate across the board it seems to be some good value picked up out there as well there's a lot of these actually there's a handful of these kind of um, properties in dublin fingless tala direction boarded up or needed a bit of work uh, there was a good few of them in there they range from that price probably 150 up to i think we're at 170 um 180 and i think they're gonna they're probably attracting a lot of um, investors who want to do them up and let them back out to the councils. I suppose we'll go back and recap quickly on what actually were the highlights that we thought would be the highlights today. Obviously Sandy Cove News sold for 468, that was probably one of their best properties they put in there, one attracted some of the most interest. Obviously lot number one. We were attracted to lot number four as well because it was so uh, such a low price at 30,000 for a three bed penthouse down in Wexford it actually sold for 74,000. We then looked at the Beacon which I felt was overpriced and again it didn't sell. We looked at Balls Bridge in Dublin 4, uh, I think it was originally to 350 and sold for nearly 500,000. That was with uh, a tenant in place probably is still a reasonably decent buy depending on the condition internally but it's a great location so if someone's turning that into a family home that probably is a very good location if it's an investment it probably represents a very low yield so probably not the greatest investment but would be a good family home we also looked at lot number 14 out in Duncondra it was a three bed um, home two bed but it had a life tenancy in place I don't know any details about the life tenancy obviously someone stays there until they pass but it actually sold for 271 that's actually looking at that seems like quite a low price i actually think the property beside number one actually sold for probably close to 600 there recently enough so that's probably a very good price so that actually seemed like a good day for bid x1 they kind of nearly almost reached 80 percent of a completion rate there probably I'd say they're pretty happy with that looking at it in fairness a lot of the prices were, were reasonably good prices and I think there was some good value and, and some investors have got some good value there so I hope you found that video useful and you got a little bit of information and you learned a little bit more about what it's like to bid online again as I mentioned in the last video BidX1 actually on their website explain the whole process uh, on about online auctions but also it's even a good tool to use even if you're going to a normal auction because a lot of the terms and a lot of the uh, the principles of an auction are actually quite quite well explained on BidX1's actual website so if you're thinking about ever buying a property at an auction it's a good piece of research to actually go and have a look at but that's me done for the day I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel and give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Again, as always, thanks for watching.